Hello, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, and today we're going to talk about the spine, chiropractic care, pain. Do you know that one of the leading causes for absenteeism at work is low back pain, closely followed up by neck and mid-back pain? Do you suffer with low back pain? I'll bet you do. If you don't suffer with low back pain, right now I'll guarantee you, you will at some point. Do you want to know why? because of gravity. Gravity continuously and relentlessly pushes down on top of us. Gravity never takes a vacation. So what I want you to do is, is do an assessment to your own posture. What I'd like you to do is look at your posture from front to back. Let me look, show you. If your head is tilting off to the side and you have a shoulder that's high, your spine probably has some type of curve to it. What we have found in our practice is over time that you don't ever see people walking around like this. What happens is their body compensates with a curve. A little bit more challenging for you right now is to see what you look like from the side view. What we see in our practice every day are people's heads tend to be very forward and it's almost epidemic today. And the reason is, is we're constantly looking down at our smartphones, we're texting, computers. So I'm going to give you a few little tips that you could do on a regular basis. I'd like you to purchase one of those large balls around 55 centimeter ball, fill it up with hot air and start laying on that ball backwards. Do it for three to five minutes per day. Laying backwards on that ball is going to help improve your posture. You see, if your posture is hunched over and your body is forward like this, your lungs are going to compress. If your lungs are going to compress, now listen to this, you're going to have less oxygen. Oxygen is the fuel for the fire. Oxygen is the fuel for your body. We've had patients come into our office and when we give them skilled specific spinal correction, one of the first comments is, my energy has improved. Do you know why I don't know why that is? It's because we help their posture improving the vital capacity to their lungs. Something else that you may not realize is that your body has to continuously work to keep you upright. Remember I told you, gravity pushes down. It's relentless and it compresses the tiny vertebra in your spine and the disc in between. See the spine is made up of 24 vertebra that move and 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Your neck region is called the cervical spine. It has seven vertebra in it. Do you know that a giraffe, as long as their neck is, has seven vertebrae in it also? The top two vertebrae in your neck are the ones responsible for you turning your head. If there's compression to those nerves because of tension, you can have a headache. Now listen to this very important comment I'm going to make to you right now. If you have carpal tunnel syndrome on one hand or your preferred side, that tends to be what we call a referred side syndrome or your dominant hand. What I want to share with you is this. If you have carpal tunnel in both hands, it more than likely is coming from compression to a disc in your neck. That's very significant by the way. Oftentimes, we will find misalignment or subluxation of the vertebra in the upper part of your back because of poor posture affecting the nerves that go down your arm and can cause a headache. Now let's talk about different types of low back pain. Sharp low back pain comes from ligament to sprain. Dull low back pain comes from muscle. Burning is from a nerve. You may have heard the term sciatica or the sciatic nerve. That's the nerve that originates from your low back region and it goes down your leg. There's a few simple tests that you could do in the comfort of your own home. You could stand on your toes and you could stand on your heels. If that creates pain that shoots down your leg, it's very possible you could have some disc irritation. But I'm going to tell you a very simple test that you could do. You could lay down on your bed, on the floor, on a, on a table and lay on your tummy and raise your head and your shoulders up. If that causes pain that spreads down your leg, 
yes, you could have some disc inflammation. If the pain goes away, chances are you have misaligned or a subluxated vertebra in your spine and you want to find a skilled chiropractor who uses his hands to relieve that after you've taken spinal films. We take films in our office standing upright. We also use motion. We have a motion specific system that we utilize because motion is life. That's very significant for you. Now I'm going to share a couple thoughts for you for individuals that have chronic spinal pain. What I have found is that individuals who smoke cigarettes and eat sugar tend to have back pain more than those who do not. And the reason is, is that sugar takes minerals out of the body. So does cigarette smoking. When patients come into the office and they have an MRI, we can literally see a damaged disc and commonly those individuals eat sugar and smoke cigarettes. That depletes the body of very important nutrients and minerals. Truck drivers, individuals that ride horses, work in factories, firefighters themselves have a lot of spinal pain because of bending and twisting. Nurses aids, lift properly, drink water. There's a process called imbibition. Imbibition is when water goes back into your discs and it increases in size. You should be taller in the morning when you wake up versus the evening time. I want you to know if you have regular chiropractic care, regular manipulative care to your spine, you actually have the potential to grow and to be taller. And I'm really serious about that. Remember, sharp pain's ligament, dull pain's muscle, burning pain is nerve. Do some core exercises, planks or bridges that help strengthen your spine. Follow these tips, I promise you, you'll be glad you did.